Unit 14 was previously a kitchen shop and then after that it was just an empty shell. We've transformed it into this brilliant, flexible community space. This is amazing for the community, absolutely essential in a place like this. Midsummer Norton is a rural town and it's really something new for us. We have 30 groups who regularly use the space. It really is a space that everybody is enjoying across the community, no matter their age or background. The most exciting bit for me though was the exterior design of the building, which our cultural group created in collaboration with amazing muralists from Bristol Upfest. Muralists Molly Mural and sign writer Tozer. It's bright and it's bold. Bath and North East Somerset Council provided the seed funding, which has come from the West of England Combined Authority, and through their vacant unit action project, they've supported us from start to finish. <laughs> The Make Space in Canesham is a new space, it used to be a derelict building. We worked with architects including DKA and you and me architects and we worked with a local artist called Toza as well who uh, designed the lettering. This is an important area of the High Street Heritage Action Zone programme. We're trying to have this as a focus area for the next coming year. There'll be creative workshops for families, young people and adults. We'll be reaching out to local community groups and really make it a hub of activity. This Make Space building is going to be fantastic because it's got so much to offer. It's a big space where people can spread out and um, try activities. We've got over 300 community groups in the town. We have history groups, we have the knitting group, photography groups, local schools will be on to get involved. Up to now we've had nowhere for the community groups and local artists to showcase what they've been up to, but this is going to be a super asset. During the week this place is an office for the council, but it comes alive during the weekend over Friday, Saturday, Sunday because people like me can set up a shop and Baines make it so easy for people like me to set it up. For the community it's just a win because it's right here in the centre, bottom of Milsom Street, couldn't be better. I invited three others to join me. We had a fantastic response from the public. All four of us were very, very happy and it was a great success. As makers, we don't have a shop and so we don't have an outlet for our goods. And if we're making, we need to be able to sell. And having a place like this is just perfect. We make, we sell, somebody else is happy. Bath Carnival work with communities around the city of Bath. The space we've got in Twerton, we use that to prepare all of our community workshops. So making templates for local schools, community groups, charities. Other things will be more event focused, preparing for the large scale free events that we do. It's always with a community focus um, and engaging people in the arts. So everything starts in the studio and is then taken out to work within the community. The Vacant Unit Action Project's also given us opportunities to work in Kentsham and actually one of our biggest commissions was on Temple Street and the Riverside Square side. The Vacant Unit Action Project, it's not just uh, given us a studio, it's actually transformed the high street and there's places that would have otherwise been vacant. In the city centre you can see on loads of streets loads of different things happening which is great because it's bringing a bit of vibrancy back to the city. Creative Twerton is a free drop-in space on Twerton High Street. We run creative activities for people to come and have a go and we have materials out for people to try new things. There's no entry requirement for people to come and join in. It's important to have a space open like this in the community. We have parents of young children come and use our playroom. We're serving hot food so anybody who needs to come and use the warm space and just join in with an activity is welcome. The variety of things we have going on here are the twerk and tapestry, we have clay modelling, painting, we have sewing facilities and we have the punk barber providing haircuts. We have a really warm feeling about what's happening down here on Twerton and High Street and being part of that is so important to us because we can share our thoughts and feelings about where the future of the High Street should be going. We are open and we are welcoming to everybody to come and have a go.